for a school morning I set my alarm for 6am however I do press snooze quite a lot so as you can see I didn't get up here until 6.25. When I do eventually get out of bed I head straight to the bathroom and clean my face and this is a new thing I've been doing since Sienna started school I realised I needed to get ready first otherwise I just don't get around to it. So once I've cleaned my face and moisturised, I go straight in with my makeup and just get it done, get my face on. I will link my full makeup routine down below, but I've just speeded this up for this routine. And I also do my teeth as well. Then I go into the girls' room and see if they're awake. Normally they are, I can normally hear Aria. And she was awake, ready to get up. Sienna had actually already headed straight to the bathroom to go to the toilet. So I just got Aria's sleeping bag off and kind of woke her up a little bit. She's a bit grumpy in the morning, so I have to kind of talk to her and coax her into getting up for the day. she's awake and up we then head downstairs this morning Sienna actually went in to see her daddy and talked to him for a few minutes before she came down which she likes to do whereas Aria is more of a mummy's girl so we go down and the first thing I do is let Piper out our dog she goes out because she needs the toilet and then I head straight back into the living room and do Aria's nappy it's nice to just give her a fresh nappy because she's been in that all night it told me I am fine, but they never seem to ever let me come inside. They tell me I look good. Sienna normally joins us sometime around here and they get choosing their cereal they have cereal in the morning because it's just quick and easy and I start on making the coffee. I sit them at the table to eat their breakfast, they eat pretty well to be honest and then I go back out and get Sienna's drink and a snack ready for school and put that straight in her uh, book bag ready to go. And then I finally get to pour my coffee and start on my breakfast and then I head into the dining room to eat my breakfast while the girls finish theirs because they're quite slow eaters so they're normally still sat there. I just try to fit in. You've got to beg just to get in. So while Sienna is encouraging Aria to finish off her breakfast, she's the slowest of them all. I then head back out into the kitchen and just start washing up the few bits from breakfast. I find it easier to kind of wash as I go. You don't have a dishwasher so it can pile up really really quickly. And then I also just wipe down the sides where I make toast and there's crumbs and everything. But I do this in the evenings as well so there's not too much to be done. And then I will go and get Aria's empty bowl when she's done. And I'll also quickly wash that up as well. So while I'm washing up the last few bits, the girls are wiping themselves up. They do a pretty good job to be honest. And then I go in and just wipe up their mess on the dining table as well. I get Sienna's clothes ready every evening and pop them on the side in the dining room. She knows they're here in the morning so she will come and grab them and start getting dressed for me straight after breakfast. I also put our shoes out in a row as soon as we get back from school the next day if we're not going out 
we put them all here so in the morning they're ready to go and the same with our coats as well and also Sienna's book bag, they're always in the same place so the girls know where they are when it's time to get ready. Also the night before I get out our vitamins to take, we take quite a lot. Um, Aria takes the Well Baby Multivitamin Liquid. This is one recommended by the health visitor because it has the vitamin D in that they need and lots of other things there you can see. And Sienna takes this multivitamin with omegas and also a calcium supplement. And then I take my iron and I also take omegas as well. Then we head upstairs for the battle that is teeth cleaning. As you can see, Aria is not very cooperative and prefers to clean her Teddy's teeth or Cap's teeth or whatever she can get her hands on, anything apart from her own teeth. Then I will go into the girls' room and I open their curtains and I open their windows as well just to kind of circulate the air, let some fresh air in. And I also grab Aria's clothes as well that I set out the night before ready to grab and we go into our room and she tries to get herself dressed, she's very independent these days so she won't let me help her until she spent a good half an hour trying to do it. She is pretty good as you can see. So she does that while I then get my mum uniform on which is just normally jeans and a jumper. And then normally Sienna comes in all dressed and it is hair time so I brush all of our hair and then I do Sienna's hair whatever she wants for that day while Aria normally has a tantrum about this, she hates her hair being done. And then I try and sort mine out, I'm having a bad hair day here, I can't find my dry shampoo and I don't have time to shower and wash it so I go for the classic mum bun but never mind. I know it's just me. Then I head downstairs and open the curtains. I don't do this as soon as we wake up because I'm not a morning person and I don't like people looking in when I've like got no makeup on or I'm sat in my dressing gown because um, we do get quite a lot of people walking past. Then it's time for us to get our shoes and coats on and Sienna grabs her book bag and we head out of the door. So we do have to drive to Sienna's school, it's not a local one or not that local and I like them to put all of their bags and coats in the front so I can visually see if we've got everything. Sometimes Sienna has got things to put at a playgroup in the past because I haven't realised she hasn't got it. And then we set off and drive to school. So thank you so much for watching this routine, I hope you like it.